Okay, so I've loaded up FSX and this is the last part of the video. So hopefully by this time you should have uh, completed your aircraft. So I'm going to go down and look for the distinctive green lines that I put on the uh, thumbnail, which is there, Monarch. So we're going to click OK. And hopefully at this point you should see your aircraft and you should see the repaint that you've done and hopefully it should look good just like that so I'm going to take a screenshot and you'll see on the desktop the photos being created so I can now close FSX and we can open this photo with uh, Photoshop because we're now going to create the uh, texture uh, sorry the template so we go to FSX root sim objects just close FSX airplanes PMDG 737 winglet look for the MON which is the monarch version that we've just done or that I've just done and we're going to open the thumbnail as well and there's the thumbnail so now we're going to go to the template folder where all our templates are and we're going to open up the thumbnail background as well so on the left here you want to look for the aircraft which is at the top layer 5 and layer 7 get rid of both of those and we can change some of this text so we can change this to monarch and accept the changes we also want to change this from 900 to 700 now the text font I don't actually have so we're gonna have to choose a different font which I think I don't know which one to choose so I'll just scroll and that one looks okay I'm going to make this a little bit bigger accept the changes and move it down a little bit the PMDG logo this one here don't really like that so we'll get rid of it and also the PMDG part we'll get rid of that and the oval outline and the other oval line we'll get rid of that so you also have a 737-800 but again I haven't got the font so we're just going to leave it as that and we are going to go to this image here and all I'm going to do is select this area copy that into a new template and all I want to do is basically just cut around the aircraft so that'll do we'll select all and we'll copy that and we're going to go into the thumbnail and paste it in press ctrl T to show the transform toolbox and I'm going to lock it so basically this will keep it to the correct dimension and all I'm going to do is place it there I'm going to use the uh, rubber tool just to get rid of a few of these little blemishes so we can flatten these so we'll click on aircraft series go to background and shift click and then press ctrl E and it will flatten them all 
select all to copy uh, to select it all and then copy and go to the thumbnail and we'll paste it in and again we just need to resize like so flatten the image control E and that's it done we can now save close all of these because we don't need them no more so now when you open FSX it should be there so now we're going to look for the livery which should be there and there you have it there's your FSX repaint completed I hope you found these videos useful uh, if you again if you have any questions leave them in the uh, comments below most of the information can be found in the description and that's it don't forget to like subscribe uh, share you know all the usual good stuff and uh, keep an eye out for the next video